The book Rising Stars is all about developing millennial women as leaders. So the book focuses on junior women and how we can help them to achieve leadership positions. But it also is designed for organizations to ensure that they can create the right environment for millennial women to flourish in the workplace. Much of what we can observe in regards to women, millennials, and millennial women in the workplace is actually due to the wider society, to the norms and values that society transmits through stereotypes. For millennial women in particular, it is important to become aware of the power of stereotypes and to become aware of how that might limit them. Very often you find that millennial women get frustrated by those stereotypes, but instead they should find ways of working with those stereotypes in order to overcome them. Organizations can do a great deal to change their organizational cultures to be more accommodating for millennial women. Much of it relates to unconscious bias. Unconscious bias allows organizations to make stereotypes visible. Only when stereotypes are made visible is it possible to actually address them in the fullest possible way. And only by addressing them we can eventually overcome those stereotypes. Millennials are set to adore work-life balance. In fact, what they show to a large degree is combining work and life. So a better word is actually work-life integration. Millennials adore work-life integration and it is very important for them to have enough leisure time. Research has showed that very clearly. However, in many organizations, a long hours culture prevails. And this long hours culture not only means long hours, but also having a lot of face time. And I think for millennials, that becomes an increasingly a burden and they very quickly lose motivation to stay in organizations. As millennials want work-life integration, it is important that organizations adapt to that need. Otherwise, millennials will very quickly leave and go to pastures new. What can organizations do? Well, it is very important that they ensure that leisure time is being given to individuals and organizations. And what we have seen is that leisure time has in the past become more flexible to accommodate work demands. We check our emails at home, for instance. At the same time, we haven't seen the same flexibility in regards to leisure time. So we also need to make sure that work-life integration just doesn't mean more work, but that it is a true integration and that leisure time is seen as valued as well. For work-life integration, technology is absolutely central. Millennials are often said to be the technology savvy generation. They are literally glued to their devices um, that they carry with them all the time. And much of the behavior that we see and the behavioral changes in regard to previous generation can be traced back to their use of technology. However, what they see in organizations is that technology is not used to the fullest potential to truly integrate work and life. There's still a lot of focus on FaceTime, and instead of using um, technologies to accommodate for that, uh, millennials are required to be in the office from 9 to 5, and that is something that they do not understand. And technology might just provide a solution to that.